it's Rita from Rita Morales Designs and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a custom footer inside of the DV theme. So if we log into WordPress and you're going to scroll down, you're going to go to the theme customizer and what we're going to do is actually we're going to use the widgets section to create a custom footer. So this is how mine looks, but as you can tell, it's kind of mushed up right now because it's uh, in this mode. But once we're in the theme customizer, we're going to go to footer and you can create whatever type of layout you want. So um, you would just pick however you want your footer to be. So in my case, I picked this one where it was I believe um, one fourth and three fourths and then I'm going to click the footer background and so that's the first step is deciding the layout you can have three columns if you wanted as you could tell there was a way to incorporate three and you could have uh, four even if you wanted to evenly space out your columns. It really depends on what you want to include in the footer. Personally, I like to keep my footers simple. And so because of that, I just have my copyright, my terms, my privacy. I also have my contact form in the bottom just because um, I don't like to keep it in the menu. I like it to be accessible, but not in the main menu and then there's the attribution and that's basically who it was designed by which is me and also some social icons so the next thing that we would look at is the widgets and these are basically the settings for how you're going to use your widgets so although you set the text um, up here what you're going to have to do is now you're going to reset the text that you're going to use for your widder, um, for your widgets. And so you want to pick your body link um, size. So basically this is like your font size. And if you are going to maybe have headers um, on, you know, to if you had different columns and maybe you were um, going to use a header to um, distinguish each one, then you would pick the header size right here, the style that you want your fonts, the um, color of the text. And as you can tell, most of the things that I'm doing are in a dark gray. And I don't like to distinguish link colors in the footer actually, but um, I will sometimes distinguish them with an underline um, on hover instead. So in this case, you could click show your icons, but I did disable them because we are going to use a plugin instead. And the reason why we're using a plugin is because the built in DV um, social icons are not very, um, there's not a lot of choices and so a lot of times people want to add their YouTube and their Pinterest and their Instagram and as of this recording um, it's not really available inside of DV to add that easily you can but it's a PHP um, edition and a lot of people find that very uh, difficult so in this case what we're going to use is a plugin instead um, this is if you had a footer menu, you could go in here and update that. I don't have a footer menu, but you could customize it to be however you want. Now again, you're going to set your background color, your text color, and um, this is actually um, standard, but the plugin actually overrides that, so don't pay attention to that. And then you would just save and publish. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our dashboard and whenever you exit out of the theme customizer, it's going to take you back to the dashboard anyways. So what you want to do is you're going to go and install a plugin and it's called Lightweight Social Icons and it is free. And so you're going to install that plugin and you're going to activate it. And then the next step 
is we are going to go to appearance we're going to go to widgets and then we are going to over here you will see this actual plugin in this list and so what you'll want to do is actually say um, put it in that footer area and this this plugin is very easy to use. If you wanted to do a, a title, you could do it right here. I like to do uh, 25 pixels with zero border on my icons. But I'll go ahead and add a background color and a background hover color, which is maybe a little bit lighter. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so the background color is the same color as the background, um, the color of your footer so whatever color you made the footer then you want to add the background color to here and these are the same they don't change on a hover and then the text color is actually what color you want the icons to be so if we look at my icons they are gray and um but they they don't really you know they're they're gray they don't have you know a lot of you know they're not making them stand out and you want to make sure you click open links in new window and so what that does is it allows people to go to your channel or you know whatever social platform you have without um, leaving your website so you see your website is still going to be open which is good um, the next thing you want to do is decide if you want, um, you know, how you want them aligned. And then I always pick center because I want them to be, um, you know, all of them to be centered with one another. And you would then add all of the profiles that you want. So if you click down here, you see there's an expansive number of profiles that we could pick. So for this one, it's Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and YouTube those are the ones that I picked and then I just click Save and then when I would go back to the widget that information would be added in there so the next thing that I would do is I want to add a text box to footer area number two if you had um, those three or four column footers then you would add the whatever auto, um, items that you wanted to add into these areas right here but since I only have two areas I'm just going to use these and so basically what you want to do is you would click this and then you would tell it where you want it to go so I would just click it and say add widget and now it's going to open up right away and I can start typing text inside of it. You do have to remember that, um, okay, so for this, I actually used um, some code in order to um, distinguish it, but if you don't wanna use code, actually what you can do is just make the modifications inside of the theme customizer. So when I did the H5, I wanted them to be exact um, this particular format that I wanted. So you would just add whatever it is. You add your links right here. And if you need to know how to do this, just let me know and um, I can help you through this. And then you would just say save and your footer would start to come to life. Now what might happen is there might be some extra space. So what I like to do is go to appearance and editor and what I'm looking for is my footer notation that I have right here and where it says footer bottom display none that is going to remove some of the padding that you have inside of the footer. So um, that is really easy addition. So you would just use this code and add it to the editor. Make sure you add it to the bottom. Do not add anything above this area right here. And then you would just say update file and it would make that adjustment for you. If you have any questions or need help creating your own custom footer inside of DV, 
let me know and I would be glad to help you out.